The Pam Glover exhibition opened on July 10th and it will be running through September 11th of 2011. In many of our exhibitions, we show work starting chronologically and we actually showed our work here um, the opposite. So we started with what she's most famous for, which is her plein air work. Plein air painting just simply means that it was painted outdoors, usually in one sitting. So an artist would sit down and make a sketch and make a painting and finish it all right then. She called, called herself a colorist because she loves color. And you can see a lot of color when you look at the various paintings in the plein air part of this exhibition. Uh, but she's also really important as a teacher because she taught plein air painting for 25 years. And she's from Orinda, so she's a local person who lived here. She moved to the Bay Area in 1951, and she's lived in Orinda for most of that time. And she's taught countless people in this area about plein air painting. We have approximately 60 paintings from her plain air period on view in this exhibition. And they cover the time period where she was doing the plain air work. But what I think people will find really exciting is the early work that nobody has ever seen before. When she and her family escaped from China at the start of World War II, the only thing that she took with her was her box of watercolors and her student artwork that she did when she was first learning to be an artist. And she took that with her when she went to Australia. And we have her work from her studies in Australia. We have some of her early watercolors from China. We have work that she did after she became a fashion illustrator that is incredible that nobody's ever seen before. And all of this work was stored in her house and her daughter discovered it after she died last year. And she donated it to us. So we have her archives now in our collection here at the college, and it gives us an opportunity to introduce her fans who love her plein air work to the work that she did before that many of them have never seen.